so I can see you all. I don't know how special I am. I'm just a... Uh, I, I don't talk very loud. I'll do the best I can. Um, when I was 19 years old, I was just like the, uh, the, uh, the current crop of uh, soldiers who, uh, who signed up because they thought they were doing the right thing. I was in college and I found I didn't like chemistry, so I quit and joined the Navy. And uh, at that time, there was a draft going on, and uh, I, I would have gotten drafted sooner or later, so I, I decided to beat them to it, and I, I volunteered. Um, there were a lot of people who volunteered back then, just as they are now, uh, perhaps more. But now it's an all-volunteer army. I was, I was on active duty for four years, and I was on uh, inactive reserve for two years after that. At that time, the uh, normal enlistment was six years instead of eight, um, as it has been since then. Um, after, I, after I was in for a couple of years, I found out that the uh, president was lying to us, the uh, generals were lying to us, in my case, the admirals were lying to me, and it, frankly, it pissed me off. I didn't like that. And by that time, I had already lost a couple of friends uh, in the Vietnam War. One was a helicopter pilot, and the other was a uh, infantry. They'd both been killed. Um, so I was, I was pretty much offended by the, uh, the lies that uh, were being uh, told to the American people and to the rest of the world. Um, so I, just, I, I became an active anti-war uh, protester while I was in uniform. I did that for two years. Um, there, there's a host of uh, good films that are being produced now. That sort of thing wasn't done 40 years ago, uh, but there's lots of them now. The one that I'm particularly attracted to is Sir No Sir. It's sort of a, um, a, a documentary of, of the GI resistance during the Vietnam War. And the thing that's most poignant to me there, um, aside from the stories, is the uh, discussions on the underground uh, work the GIs were doing uh, during the war while they were in uniform and some by that time were veterans. Um, Repeat the name. Sir, no, sir. Sir, no, sir. Ah, thank you. The, uh, the film depicts uh, the underground newsletters that uh, some of these guys were producing and that inspired me so I did that too. Um, so I, I produced a, uh, a newsletter I ran it off on a mimeograph machine, the kind you had to crank by hand and I was doing it on base in the operations office on a NATO base, so I had to be uh, pretty sneaky. And so I did that and I, I distributed it on base uh, in the dead of night uh, where nobody had any business being seen. So I was always uh, uh, just anticipating that somebody would grab me and uh, throw me in the brig. Well, I, I escaped that, so I, that didn't happen. Um, so when you see things like the uh, active duty servicemen who are um, doing that now, Iraq uh, active duty service people, Iraq and Afghanistan, they're speaking out. There's a thing called appeal for redress. There are a couple thousand active duty service people who have signed petitions called appeal for redress. It's a structure within the UCMJ that is sort of like a grievance procedure for active duty people. And they're criticizing the war through that official means. Veterans for Peace had its convention two weeks ago in St. Louis, IVAW had uh, their convention at the same time. And during the convention, during our convention in the uh, another St. Louis uh, convention hall, there was a public uh, display of some sort, I don't know what it was, but they saw some uh, recruiters going into the convention hall. They went in to check it out and found out that recruiters were, were setting up information booths, these, uh, these electronic uh, uh, displays, uh, video games, where uh, young people could go in there and sit down and, and pretend they're driving a tank or a uh, fighter aircraft um, as a way of getting them uh, to see how cool the military is. These guys came back out. We had 90 Iraq, 90 Iraq vets and active duty people in the convention. They, they, they got a gang of them to go back over there and they stood in front of this uh, trailer and on, on a uh, military cadence style um, uh, repeated effort, they shouted out, war is not a game. And that's a, that's a good thing for us to remember, I think. Uh, that was true in uh, 1967. It's true now. War is not a game. People die. They die by the thousands. They die by the millions. And it's a good thing for us to be out here to, to showing, showing our support for the uh, 
people who were on, on duty, people who are veterans in, in this and uh, other wars, with the idea that perhaps we can uh, make it less likely that we'll have another um, Iraq next week, next month, next year, next millennium. So thanks for being here.